Hi, it's Dr. Alex Popovic and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about Rome research again, how you make projects in Rome research, but most importantly, whether or not you should be using it for project management. So let's dive in. This is my projects page uh, and we will use it as a blank project page uh, that uh, is going to hold all the projects in. So this page, if you make a project page, this is almost going to be like a database. All your projects will be in there with certain amount of data. So each project, it's its own page and you have a page with all the projects in it. For example, this page like projects or uh, books or anything like that, it's called a tag page. But to me, that kind of we feels weird. So I tend to think of them as a database. And as I said, at the moment, it's blank. So we will create a new project, clean garage. So when you start with each project, there are certain things that you have to have for them. So one is, uh, um, so for me, I call them database. And this is where, which database the project is going to be in, um, or which tag page it's linked to. So in this case, it's project. So this one. And then there are certain things you want to have in a project. You can just do the bullet, bullet points. So you need due date. Let's say it's due uh, next weekend. Um, you will um, need a keyword or tags. Depends what you want to do, call them. I call them keywords. So, for example, what is it linked to? So, this one is home, active. You might say long. Uh, for example, if you want to say that it's going to take you a long time uh, to do this. You might want to add a goal uh, that's leading you to. Um, so, maybe this one is organizing house or it might be area personal um, so it depends what you want to have as a part of your project uh, and what you want to keep an eye on in your projects but most projects have um, a due date you have to have some sort of keywords how you're going to filter them down the track, um, whether you're going to have a database of just active projects, or you're going to have archive of the projects, or, or you're going to um, uh, have um, completed, how long does it take you to do this? Uh, and um, there might be a project that are year long that are continuous like taxes or something like that. Or lots of people use para method to organize their notes. And this is mostly done by um, Tiago Forte, or he has uh, developed this system. Um, I use a combination of this system where I look at the projects as such, areas of my life, and on average I have three or so that might be uh, divided into more. Uh, and uh, what are my goals that I want to have? So if you do projects like that, you put that as a part of your kind of front area. Now, if you go, if we go back to projects and you look now, clean get garage, now you can see just a database that it's projects, but there is no other information that is below it that you can see on your database for the project. What I tend to do for my projects is that I want to see them, um, on my list um, and that 
and to be able to do this you can use the soft line breaks so if we delete it shift return and then shift return shift shift return so now if um, if we go back into the project you can see that all this area is the part of it that you can actually see within your project if you use the soft break soft line breaks rather than a bullet point would the same happen if you use the um, stuff like this let's see So if we go back to project, you still don't see it, but here you have this dot. So if you wanted to see it, you can actually look under that area and uh, see them if they're a bit nested under that bullet point. So when you start having a lot of uh, projects, you might decide this is a way that you want to do this. Either way, you pick the way that you want to organize your projects by how you want them to look on your database uh, in, in, in Rome. The other thing that I would suggest is that you always want to have similar or the same area of uh, underneath uh, the project. So if you basically make a new page and it's called template, and it's used templates so you can put here so your project template so now in the project template you might want to copy um, this area because you're going to have it for all of the projects You want to use the project uh, like this I uh, can see them here and I will start this page because because that way I want to very quickly open it up so if I go back to project uh, shift and click now templates will be open in the area next to you so you can use them as your templates for your project so you can always uh, um, easily access that area uh, here you can actually filter um, see so you can filter um, the active projects versus long or organizing or whatever it is that you've put as your uh, tags so when you start having a lot of projects you can actually filter them through this area here um, to see only one that you wanted to see and that's very important when you do your weekly or monthly or fortnightly reviews depending on what you want to do to keep an eye on your projects now some people like using a separated area so then you might want to have have here a dash like that as a separator area uh, within a project because when you start writing underneath this you see you clearly see the area within a project that's separated from your notes or what else you want to write about a project or your whatever the project is about um, this area here a lot of you people use it as a metadata and this is how you're going to search or filter or do anything in Rome and connect uh, areas in Rome so you always have to think about what you're going to use in your metadata of whatever database you're going to use Rome for whether it's projects books reading lists uh, videos that you've watched anything like that can be a database and what metadata you're going to collect within the each database and then your each database should have a page or a template within your templates page so you can easily copy and paste the area now it's easy to make projects in Rome and um, you can do them you can make them as easy or as complicated as you want to the most important question is should you use Rome for your project management and here there is no right 
answer for everyone. It depends what suits you. What I um, think about is uh, it's you have a project and depends what your needs for the project management system or a database or application that you need to. So if we uh, look at uh, you using it for a simple project, um, if you just need a due date area, you're going to use it just for yourself. Um, you don't need to analyze the projects or keep an eye on a project that much apart from your weekly reviews. Um, you're going to use just a few keywords that you may filter or not filter things by. Then sometimes using Rome is very useful. If your resources or money is important, and you don't want to buy too many applications, then Rome is for you. Depends also what is your background. Are you just using your computer or you need to access your projects and tasks on iOS, iPads and things like that? Are you on a go or you're mostly sitting down? That all depends. Um, whether or not you what type of project manager you're going to use it. Do you need time saving or do you want to save a lot of time by doing things uh, or running your projects within the room or you don't need to? It, it, it's actually relatively easy. How are you going to track the things that happen in your project? And for me, if this area is really simple, you don't need to track a lot, you don't want to spend too much money, you... Uh, shaving off a few minutes in a day or 10 minutes or five, 15 minutes in a day, it's going to be um, not that important. I suggest you, you, you do use Rome Research because you're already using it for other things. But if you have a complicated project uh, which you need to share or you need to track what other people do, multiple due dates, um, tracking of your progress, how far you've gone, that that's automatic, that you don't waste time doing it. I mean, this is where other programs come in handy. Um, whether you need a mul multiple views of the same database um, that are easily accessible, not that you can always constantly click on. And this is where that time saving um, uh, area within um, your project management application um, uh, comes in handy. It depends on your needs. Um, do you need to automate? So it's much harder to develop shortcuts with your own research or it's possibly probably impossible in some ways versus using something like uh, um, Asana uh, or Basecamp which you can use your shortcuts with. Um, so all of that depends on your needs. So, so if you need something that's really simple, you don't need to track everything, fine, use Rome. But if you need much more complex stuff, then you should do use the application that is much better at actually doing this. Um, the other thing is uh, how many applications do you use to track the same thing? Uh, the least amount of applications you use to track things the least amount of time you spend looking where you've put them. The more tasks you have, if you have hundreds of tasks, clicking uh, filters off and on is actually a really challenging thing to do. There's a lot of repetition, you're wasting a lot of time. But if you can see different views of the same database, and these things come in more handy. If your work uses different databases for the tasks, and the projects you're not going to, it's very hard then to use Roam for something else unless you're going to just use them for personal. So you know that your personal databases is there. What that does is that your brain starts thinking, where did I put this project? How do I manage it? How can I quickly do it? And that brain drain can be quite hard to deal with, especially as you get more and more busy. So for me as a doctor, I don't, I'm not planning to use Rome for projects and task management. I use Notion for my project management, for my goal management, for my life management. 
but I use something like Todoist for my task management. And that's because of different needs that I have. You may decide it differently. So have a basic system, maybe use a very basic pen and paper system until you figure out what works best for you. Can you use Roam Research for what you need? Or actually, that's actually putting more drain and more strain on how you manage your tasks and it's not worth you doing it. So at the end of the day is you can use Roam for managing the projects. For me, I shouldn't. For you, that's a question to answer. Thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now.